I'm London Bree. I am president of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors and soon to be mayor of the city and county of San Francisco. I just want to take a moment to acknowledge why we're here. In December last year, we lost a good man, a true public servant. And I just want to acknowledge Mayor Ed Lee for his work in moving our great city forward and thank him for his years of service. I received a call today from Senator Mark Linnell, and I want to thank him for his kind words and his sentiment. This is an amazing city, and we had a number of amazing candidates who ran for mayor. And I'd like to thank them for their commitment to San Francisco, including Senator Mark Leno, my colleague, Supervisor Jane Kim, former president of the Board of Supervisors, Angela Aliotto, Amy Farrow Wise, Michelle Bravo, Ellen Lee Zhao, and Richie Greenberg. We know that putting yourself out there and running for office, it's not only a difficult thing to do, but I know that there are so many people in this city who supported all of those candidates. And I have said from the very beginning, whether you voted for me or not, as mayor, I will be your mayor too. We know that so many people care about this city. So many people care about making sure that we're coming together to address these most challenging issues. And I am prepared to make sure that I do everything I can to work together, to bring the Board of Supervisors together, to bring everyone together for the purposes of solving our most challenging problems. We won't get there without making sure that we're all working together. And so I am excited to be here, and I just wanted to come out after um, Senator Leno's announcement but tomorrow, I will have more to say. Um, I will be able to provide you with a location and a place where we will be making, I will be making longer uh, comments. But for today, um, I didn't expect such a huge crowd. <laughs> um, I just wanted to basically also thank um, the voters of San Francisco uh, for their support and confidence in me. I want to thank all the volunteers. So many of them are here today. You know, I want to acknowledge and thank just everyone who really came together uh, to accomplish this incredible goal of making sure that San Francisco is led by someone who cares about bringing people together and making the hard decisions and solving many of these challenging problems. I am so hopeful about the future of our city. And I am looking forward to serving as your mayor. I am truly humble and I am truly honored. Thank you all so much for being here today. Um, I would just say, Ms. Brown has probably had a hand in this looking down from the heavens. Um, you know, she, she really was a tough woman. She took care of the community. She took care of me even on days when I didn't deserve it. And so, you know, being here in her honor means so much. And I am so grateful that I can carry on her legacy of doing more to improve all of the communities of San Francisco. We love you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you all so much for being here. Here's the thing, the campaign is over. And it is time for us to forget about the drama that existed in the world of politics during the campaign and time for us to focus on addressing these challenges so that we can make our city better for all San Franciscans. Yes. That is what I'm focused yeah. on. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What does that tell you going forward? Um, it's, it's really
really amazing and it's it's really an honor and I just want to also say I know it means so so much to so many people I mean I'm a native San Franciscan I grew up I grew up in some of the most challenging of circumstances and 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 the reason why I feel so incredible about this is because I think the message that this sends to the next generation of young people growing up in this city that no matter where you come from no matter what you decide to do in life. You can do anything you want to do. Never let your circumstances determine your outcome in life. And, and I think that it, it means a lot to so many young people growing up in this city. And I, I'm really honored and really proud of, of this accomplishment. And it's because of so many people that are here today. I'll take your last question. It, it was a very tight race. How does that inform what you're going to do next? How do you move forward knowing that it was this, this very tight contest? So I think, again, it's over, the voters decided, and what's important is that we focus on the work. I have made several commitments in my platforms while running for mayor to deal with these challenging issues. So that will be my focus. My determination in terms of my policy decisions will have everything to do with trying to address these issues that we know are really challenging. We see people sleeping on our streets. We know that they need help. We're not building enough housing. We know that there is so much work to do and we have to make the hard decisions to get the job done. So my focus will not necessarily be about what happened on the campaign trail. It will be about what San Francisco needs. Thank you. Thank you.